Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about another useful Tableau technique. It's called Table Highlights. In one of my previous videos, I talked about how you can create a heat map and color code your table based on the value of your metrics. In this video, I want to show how you can highlight selected rows in a given table based on specific metric criteria. Let's go and get started. I made this dashboard using the sample superstore data online to show the total sales amount, the profit amount and profit margin by region and department. In this dashboard, a few rows have been highlighted in color orange based on the percent profit margin. As you can see, the current profit margin benchmark is said to be 5%. This means department in the given region which has profit margin less than 5% is highlighted here. If I change the profit margin from 5 to 10%, more rows are highlighted. Similarly, changing from 10 to 20%, departments in regions with profit margin less than 20% are highlighted right now. This is pretty cool, right? This technique is very useful in conducting business reviews. The question is how you can make the same table highlights in Tableau. Step number one, you will need to create a raw table that contains the required dimensions and metrics. Here, I have region, department, total sales, total profit, and profit margin, which is profit divided by sales. Next, you will need to create a calculated field. I call this field 1.0. You can give it another name. In this calculated field, I also set the value to be 1.0. Once done, you need to drag this calculated field to the columns row n number of times where n is the number of fields you want to show in this table. For example, I want to show a total of five fields in my table and I will need to drag this calculated field to the column row five times. Once you drag the calculated field to columns n number of times, you also need to check the marks. Currently, I have set the type to show column as text. Under marks, I need to switch from text to bar for all. Then you need to click to hide the headers for region, department, sales, and profit. Click the drop-down arrow and uncheck show header. Once you hide the headers of the fields, you no longer see them anymore. You will need to show the label of these fields in a different place. Let me go to step number three. You need to drag region, department, sales, and profit to the label field under marks. You can see that the first column has the region names, the second column has the department names, third column has sales, and fourth column has total profit. Once you hide the column headers, you will also need to perform a bit of a cleanup of your table to make sure that it can look nice. At the bottom section of this table, right-click Edit Access. The access title is shown as 1.0 right now. Remove access tag title. Then you need to modify the range of the axis from automatic to fixed and set the start to be 0 and end to be 1. Next, go to the tick marks pane and hide both major and minor tick marks. Now you can see the axis labels goes away. You will need to repeat the same exercise for all of your fields in this table. Once done, 
you need to create another calculated field. Here, I call this field highlight profit margin. Use the if-else statement in the calculation to define the criteria for the rows that will need to be highlighted. Then drag this calculated field and drop it under color and tweak the color assignment to make it visually appealing. Once you drag the highlight profit margin field under color and tweak the color assignment, you will notice that the rows will be highlighted as orange. You can also leverage the parameter feature in Tableau to create a dynamic view and change your benchmark criteria based on range of predefined values from the parameter. One thing you will notice right now is that this table does not have field names. If you would like to add field names on top of this table, you will need to drag the field 1.0 to the columns again and then create dual access for each of the fields in this table. After you create the dual access, you will also need to modify the access title and change the title from 1.0 to the corresponding field names. For instance, I want to change the title here to region. Click OK. Here, you have a very nice table with highlighted rows based on the identified profit margin benchmark. You can toggle between different benchmark values and then your table will dynamically highlight the rows that fail to meet the profit margin criteria. If I change to 10%, then the highlight rows also changed. All right. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a comment if you have any questions. Thanks for watching. See you next time.